You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. It has been 37 years since Prime Minister Hun Sen assumed his position as Prime Minister of Cambodia after the National Assembly elected a 33-year-old as chairman of the Council of Ministers on January 14, 1985. He is one of the longest-serving prime ministers in the world, and his ability to hold this position for so long has been attributed to his loyalty to the monarchy. Cambodia has gone through decades of division and civil war, and uniting the country under the same government has not always been as easy as it is now. It is even more difficult to maintain a stable situation and not turn back to war again. However, under the leadership of Prime Minister Hun Sen, it has been possible. 14th January 2022 marks the 37th anniversary of Prime Minister Hun Sen's tenure in office as the leader of the Kingdom of Cambodia. He is one of the longest-serving prime ministers in the world, and his ability to hold this position for so long has been attributed to his loyal and true followership of the monarchy. While speaking at the inauguration ceremony of the Stung Trong Krochamar Bridge on 23rd November 2021, Prime Minister Hun Sen remarked that he had been able to maintain power for so long because of his high respect to the king, while former prime ministers of Cambodia, such as Prime Minister Un Tam and Prime Minister Hong Tun Hak, did not hold the same level of success because they did not hold respect for the king and the Cambodian royal family. I know the money. ពលិតនយោបាយរដ្ឋតិចបីណាអូយតាហើយនៅសោកហ្នឹងនយោបាយរដ្ឋតិហ៊ុនហាងទុនហាណានយោបាយរដ្ឋតិហ៊ុនស
The roof of monarchy and one government was established after more than 500 years of Cambodian history. Due to the success of the Prime Minister's leadership, the Cambodian people have voted for his party, the Cambodian People's Party, at every election since 1998. According to the latest UN assessment, for the first time in the history of Cambodia, the country has been able to meet conditions that free it from the status of least developed country. The goal is to become a middle-income country by 2030 and a high-income country by 2050. Furthermore, data from the World Bank shows that Cambodia's GDP per capita increased from $254 in 1993 to more than $1,543 in 2020. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Hun Sen, Cambodia, which was once in ashes from the flames of war, has become a land of peace and development. People's lives have gradually improved and the country's image has been become more well known on the international stage. All of this has been considered a difficult achievement by the Prime Minister, who has said he is determined to protect his achievement for the benefit of the Cambodian people in the future. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony of the Stung Trong Krochamar Bridge on 23rd November 2021, Prime Minister Hun Sen said he would continue to hold the position of Prime Minister for longer in order to maintain stability and peace in the country. ອາເຕນາຈັ່ງມານເລືອກນີ້ອາເຕສົມປະຈັກຈູນໃຫ້ດໍາໄລນາກໍໃຫ້ຮຸນແຊນມັນອົດມັນອາດອ້າວນກ